good backyard barbecues and barbecue as man this your boy mr b the backyard barbecue y'all see been one one of these i had a knockoff if y'all remember uh those of the uh, original followers had a knockoff version of this um and it worked perfectly um i did come in and say that uh hands down that was the best all-in-all -all grill that i've ever had besides the uh, uh pool behind i'm just talking strictly uh, barbecue slash smoking and the reason why i say that is hands down this thing does everything i'm talking about i, I didn't use the char griller uh, had an acorn for a minute had a uh, oh my goodness i've had so many even the weber the kettle i've had that i've used the uh, uh what else the uh bullet the stand-up smoker from um weber oh uh, what else i've had even a little cheap uh, tailgating grill. I done had it all. Let me show y'all close up real quick. Uh, I've already loaded it. Because I'm just going to do a roast today. But this is just a uh, more so a burn in. And the reason why I'm doing this is my neighbor saw this big box in my front yard. And uh, he was like, man, what is that? And he's... He's another fellow Alabamian, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and light this while I talk. And uh, he loves the barbecue, and uh, he's intrigued by it and wants to know how it works. So I'm gonna put a chicken on here too. It is time to, all right, lit the, lit the uh, Big Joe. I gotta give it a name, y'all. Comment below what kind of name you want me to get this thing. Uh, I'm still on the fence, I don't know yet. Uh, but it's humongous, as you can see, Look at my wingspan, and uh, you can probably see on the side of me, I'm a little chubby these days, but uh, this thing is, I'm 5'10", and this thing is probably sitting chest height about four feet. Uh, that's on the frame. But anyway, uh, I'm about to put this chuck roast on, so y'all stay tuned for that. I'll show you the package I'm using this McCormick's. Nothing special. I am going to smoke it for a while until it gets to about 160, using salt, pepper, and garlic. I'm going to put the comments in, in, in the description below so you can see the ratio I utilize for that. I use it for everything beef, uh, ribs, beef ribs. I do brisket that way, and also chuck chuck roast that way. So stay tuned. Uh, we'll be back, y'all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I am about to put a chuck roast in. Let me show it to you real quick. It's about two, a little bit more than two and a half pounds. I'm gonna throw this on. This bad boy is hovering around 250. Um, we just tested it out. I will show you. When I actually get ready to take this chuck roast and put it in the, uh, I'm putting it in beef, beef brine or whatever. And uh, once it get to about maybe 160, uh, so stay tuned for that, and I'll show you exactly what I use. So nothing special here today, but with this I did do the salt, salt, pepper, and garlic, and I'll put that in the comments below, uh, so you can see the ratio I utilize for that. So stay tuned, y'all. All right, my good people, man, we back. This thing, matter of fact, let me give you a close up. So you how this thing hovering. Keep in mind, this is my first cook. And yeah, let me back this up so you can see it. Yeah. Thing hovering about 275. I wanted to come down, so I gotta dial it down a little bit. Ooh, let me get that close up real quick. And then uh, I'll close my lid. Because if you're looking, you ain't cooking. Anyway. see you guys back in a minute i gotta go spritz it i gotta get the uh, apple cider vinegar and uh 50 50 water and spritz this and we're gonna go about our business we dial it down a little bit and we're gonna do the thing man see you in a minute it is about 12 30 ish I, put, I, I lit the grill at let me see i got up to do some cardio um around 5 30 i think that's when i lit it and i gave it about 30 minutes 30 35 minutes uh, come up with temps. Usually I do about 45. Uh, I went ahead and closed it. Started dialing back my dampers. And not by anybody's videos that I utilize. I use my own settings that I had from the previous knockoff because I wanted to see just where my settings were to hover it around 250. And this thing is so far been spot on. I did have to add charcoal though or charcoal lump coal because I didn't put enough in there. Keep in mind it was running from from about 5 30 this morning till about 12 it's like 12 45 now 
So it did what it was supposed to do. As far as that, I think my next test will be just to see how long it, it will go. I'll probably just throw something on there and don't even open it and just see how far it goes. They claim 56 hours on a full basket. Um, I got some royal oat lump. Um, we're going to try it and see just how long it goes. So stay tuned for that video. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pop this open. It's at 250 right now. They got to fix my spring latch too. No spring in the latch. And then uh, we'll get you on your way. Actually, let me give you a close up. And then I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. Mm. This thing is actually, let's do this. I think I got my thermal pen in my pocket. Let's see what this tip is looking like. Bam! Got the MK4. One seventy-two. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. One seventy-three. One seventy-five. Yeah. Now it's time to, as they call, freeze this beef. So all I'm gonna do. Let me back this up. I'm trying to keep these videos kind of short, man. I know my last one was probably eighteen to twenty minutes. Uh. But anyway, I got carrot, celery in here. I'm gonna come back and put potatoes in there in about an hour and just let it run. So all I'm gonna do is, no water in this, and I'm gonna show you the package. Ooh, look at that thing. Look at the exact side with that mark on it. Yeah. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna show you the package and I'm gonna go ahead and pour this thing up. This is what I'm used to using. The slow, slow cooker, savory potato, Oh, so, excuse me. Slow cooker, savory pot, pot roast. Sorry, uh, from McCormick. Pot roast, y'all. So now, I'm gonna do the whole thing. Method. Go ahead, wrap it up a little more foil, and we'll let y'all go. We'll be back when this is done. But actually, I got a chicken going on. Mojito lime flavor. I'll be back at the two two hour mark. That's when I'm putting it on for my neighbor. He's just intrigued by this this thing. He's never heard of one. Um, and he, he's a barbecuer like me, so stay tuned for some videos with him. Uh, collab. But anyway, I'll see y'all guys at 2. Alright, ladies and gents, it is 2 o'clock. Actually, 1.55-ish. But by the time I finish this, it should be around 2. Uh, I got this right here. Right, beer can chicken. You just pour it in here. I find that it's better than... I used to have a frame that you just sit the whole can in. And uh, I'll give you a little word of advice. Room temperature. I'm using a uh, ginger ale today. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this, stick it on top of here, pour it in. Simple. You can sit this chicken on it. I'm gonna show you what it looked like real quick. Oh man, I wanted to drink some of this. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right, show you what this look like and get you out of here. Show you what that final product look like. This should take anywhere from two, two and a half hours. Assuming it stays around 250. Uh, hopefully it's done in time for my, my neighbor to pick it up. Say he'll be over here where he get off around 3, 3.30. So, simple as that. Lock the legs in. Look at that. Hold him up. That's it, y'all. We'll be back. All right, ladies and gents. Let's see what this thing looks like before I dig in. Ooh. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Let's see. Look how soft it. Ooh, it's hot. Mm. If that don't tell you something. Yeah, stay tuned. The boy working on it. There you have it, ladies and gents, barbecuers and barbecuettes. Man, this your boy, Mr. B, signing off. First cook, official cook. I did like a four hour burn in. Um, comment below. Tell me what you think my next cook should be. Maybe I'm thinking about doing a, um, a test just to see how long it'll, it'll, it'll cook. Um, who knows? food was delicious it was outstanding like i said just follow the instructions on the mccormick pot roast 
Um, uh, my neighbor came over. I should have got him. Uh, he ate the chicken. It turned out amazing. Uh, mojito lime. He loves it. Um, it was moist through and through. Keep in mind, it's because of the beer can uh, concoction. Not necessarily what was in it, but keeping the fluid in there keeps the body of it or the cavity of the, uh, the chicken moist. So stay tuned for more videos, baby. I'm back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Holla at your boy. We're making moves.